draw a hummingbird together. I've just been practicing. I did one with watercolor paints and one with crayon, and I think the one with crayons will be a lot easier for you guys. So here it is. You've got your paper in front of you. You've got your crayons. Uh, hopefully you've got the little stencils that I made for you, the tracers. Trace that bird onto your paper, and then we'll watch the rest of the video, and you'll hear my directions as we go along. All right? Let's have some fun! Flying fun! Okay, my friends, we are ready to color our hummingbird. I have a whole bunch of crayons here, as I'm sure you have a good variety of colors, too. We are going to start with the lightest color first. Now, you don't need to use the same colors I use. You are welcome to copy along with me. I would just recommend that you start with the lightest color first and the darkest color last. So I'm going to start with some yellow and green. And I'm going to do the hummingbird's head, putting some yellow on, and this part of the wing, the top part of the wing. And I'm going to mix that with this green that's called yellow green. Okay, I like the way the green and the yellow blend together. Now I'm going to get this color, which is magenta. It's like a dark pinkish red and I'm going to put it on its throat part here. Okay. I'm going to add some purple. Do I have two kinds of purple? I do. Look, I'm going to start with the lighter one, the lavender, and I'm going to do the wing. I'm going to outline the pencil lines first. I'm also going to do this part of the belly. I'm going to leave a little bit of white though. So I'm outlining the birds body, not doing the tail feathers, those will be black, and I'm just going to color inside the belly kind of lightly. I'm going to leave some white at the top here. These are the bird's feet. I'm going to go around those, even though it won't be such a problem if I color them in. I will go over them in black. Then some light purple on the wings. Now that is my light color. Now I'm going to take my darker purple and I'm going to make the wings stand out a little bit more. I'm going to put some feather lines on and I'll go around this border here, make it darker purple and just some purple coming out of it. But I'm not pressing very hard. I have two shades of purple here and I want them both to show up. Okay. Going back to the bird's belly, I am going to make it a little bit darker at the top, just around the borderline, and then just a little bit lighter as it comes down and blends into the light purple that I put on it. And I'm also going to make some feathery marks. Oh, just the fluffy side of their belly. It's not really feathers. I'm going to take a dark green and go back and put some of those little tuft feather marks on the green. I'm using a darker green than the one I colored so that it shows up. It's like little U's or V's that we're putting on here, or W's. I see that my red part is a bit too pink. I'm gonna get a darker red and I want that in there too. All right, let's get our black ready. We are going to color around the eye I sure wish I had a pointy crayon, but I do not. Okay, so there is the pupil of the eye. And I'm going to just take the top of the head a little bit lightly, not too dark, and run my black along. And then I'm going to come down to the beak. And then come from the bottom to the beak. The beak, we want to come to a nice point because hummingbirds have very pointy beaks. I suppose a lot of birds do, but that one is long and pointy so that it can go right into the flower. Now I'm gonna make the rest of the beak dark as well. And I'm just going to, I wanna leave a little bit of white at the top of the beak for a bit of a shine. Just a little more dark on the top of the head come around the pencil lines just to get rid of the pencil lines and give our bird a nice little outline. All right, take your black down to the tail feathers. 
and let's just outline them and the feet I'm gonna give them maybe just three toes that we can see on one foot and just a little bit of black on the other because we can't really see it and then let's color the back in darkly heavily I want the outline of those feathers to be darker so I'm pressing harder for the outline and lighter for the inside can you see that okay step back and have a look at your bird and see where you would like to add some color or some definition I think I'm going to take my purpley color and go a little bit around here again just to make it stand out a little bit more and maybe around the wing here and make those feather lines a little bit darker, just like we did with the tail feathers. Maybe on the chest and the belly, make them a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna take that very light purple and just blend over it all a little bit. I'm gonna take a dark green and I'm going to add it to the black on the neck here, leading into the beak and some more black just to make these tail feathers a little darker I'm going to try the edge of my black to try to get a nice sharp line on this beak okay if you'd like to give your hummingbird a background you can make blue sky I like to use the flat part of my crayon and just make curlies just a little bit of light color or maybe you want it to look like the hummingbird is in a garden and there's all kinds of light colors behind it perhaps there's some yellowy green leaves that we can't really see because they're just kind of faded and maybe there's a bit of red we we can see that there's some flowers behind it whatever you want to do or you can draw some real flowers Okay, my friends, there's our beautiful hummingbird. Sign your name to your work of art and be happy and proud of it. Thanks for watching. Bye.